I've participated in several failed debates on sex and gender. For example, one person declared that the definitions of words in the dictionary did not apply to her use of words. How can we discuss sex and gender, I wondered, if we can't agree on the meaning of those words? The refusal to define words is a tactic that has frustrated many of us as we struggle to protect women's sex-based rights as they're dangerously eroded by the social and legal replacement of the word sex by the word gender. Idiosyncratic and woke language used by pimps and postmodernists block communication of theory and evidence regarding prostitution. Just as the words sex and gender have been blurred, so also the words prostitution and trafficking have often been deliberately blurred. There's disagreement regarding what exactly trafficking is because its definition varies so widely. The word pimping, on the other hand, is understood and opposed by most people. There are ideological parallels between the political movement promoting gender identity or trans rights and the political movement promoting prostitution as sex work. While both claim the lofty goal of freeing people from discrimination, the foundation of both movements is sexual objectification. And sexual objectification is the opposite of any kind of freedom. Gender identity exists because of sexual objectification. Socially defined femininity and masculinity are rooted in sexual objectification. When sexually objectified, a girl or a woman is defined by her sexual characteristics and made into a thing for others' sexual use. Sexual objectification enables an abuser to view another person as an object through a process of fragmentation and exploitation. Sexual objectification is at the root of sexual violence because objects have no feelings, even if great harm is perpetrated against them. Women are objectified via pimps transformation of them into profitable commodities. Women and girls of color are doubly objectified on the basis of both racism and sexism. Sex work activists like trans activists promote a sexually objectified performance of femininity. Advocates of gender ideology normalize the sex trade because prostitution validates their view of women as sex objects. 